of the video. Before I start this video from here on out, uh, at the beginning of every one of my videos, I'm going to do a little update or uh, a recap, uh, just so it doesn't get in the way of my what the actual video is about, like I've been doing in the past. So I'm gonna do a little quick recap of you know anything I need to get out of the way first in the beginning of every video, and um, we'll go on from there. So just wanna say, Thank you guys so much for all the replies for last video. Like, honestly, as you guys can see, it's raining. Usually when it's raining, it's like, okay, I, I can't do anything because, you know, what am I supposed to film? But you guys have given me so much ideas. And as you guys can tell by title, I'm going to be talking about Crown Vic stories, some of the craziest stories I've had in my car. I just want to read some of the ones that you guys have commented. You guys, you guys just went all out. Look at that. That's crazy. So... Um, I'm going to read some of them off real quick. You guys can stare at the forward logo as I do it. Uh, one of them says, do product testing, like what is good air filter, what is a better oil to use, um, and how you main your Crown Vic. That's actually a really good one. I like that one. Uh, also, um, do a video on how far the Crown Vic has come since its first production into police work. That's also a very, very good one. Tours how you went about buying your CVPI. I, I noticed a lot of you guys are like new or you guys are buying a Crown Vic. Uh, so I, I wanna do a video like, um, you know, what to look for in buying a police interceptor because the civilian model and the police interceptor, they're, they're very, very much similar, but if you're buying a police interceptor, there's some key things you have to look into before you buy it. So Crown Vic stories, uh, that, that's one of them that I'm doing now, one of the comments. So thank you for that. Flybys, cool photo montage, vlogs with your Vic tied in of course let's see it fishtail um yeah i need a nice open area for that actually today would be good if i found like a nice open parking lot i could maybe get it to fishtail compare your crown fic to maybe a say a newer police interceptor such as the taurus that is a good one as well um actually the place where this car was originally sold from the guy has a ton of cars on his lot a ton of police interceptors uh decommissioned police interceptors and uh, i was actually thinking maybe go there and just you know look around but also film for you guys and uh you know maybe you know he's really nice he lets you sit inside and stuff so maybe i can you know give you guys kind of a visual of that also another one um you know swapping parts and stuff uh can you swap over a pi alternator to a civilian car um all that good stuff which is actually very very easy so i'll make videos on that in the future or actually even sooner because now i got all these ideas i want to kind of you know pump out a video a lot quicker so yeah uh, i got a lot of suggestions so thank you guys for that i'm almost at 400 subs as well look at that guys I'm almost at 400 at 380 that's crazy so make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already all right so enough of me talking let's get on the road let's talk about some of the craziest crown vic stories or stories i had while in this car because i mean they're pretty crazy so let's get into it all right guys, so I have the head shop on today so you guys can kind of see my point of view when I'm driving. Maybe we'll catch something, someone doing something stupid or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll start off the story. I got like, I guess, two categories. One involves, you know, the police and stuff, uh, which nothing bad. And then the second one involves like, you know, regular people just being stupid. So we'll start off with the regular people just being stupid. All right, so um, the, this is not really a specific story. It's just like stories in general, like when I'm driving. And it, it obviously pertains on the highway. If you own one of these cars, you know that driving on the highway, you know, people just act so much different when you drive one of these cars versus, you know, that van in front of us. So, usually when I'm driving on the highway, I usually like to stay in the fast lane. Uh, and that's just personally me. I like to stay in the fast lane. But uh, there's been a couple times where I've been on the slow lane before. Maybe I just, you know, wasn't feeling good or whatever. I just felt like, you know, taking it easy. And uh, I'd be on the slow lane and, you know, I'd see people in my rear view or in my mirror flying up. And then all of a sudden, once they see my car, even though I'm just, you know, doing 65, they won't pass me, even though they're in the fast lane. I literally just stay there until I either get in front of them and pass them. Some people will pass, but they'll do it very, very, very slowly. And uh, I just, I always find that that's funny, you know. It, it's so awesome how, like, cautious people drive when you're driving one of these cars versus, you know, just a regular car. Um, also, when you're on the fast lane and stuff, people will just, like, farther than that car is, they, like, they'll just as soon as they see the front end of this car that's it they move over like instantly some people don't some people you know can really tell the difference between you know an in-service cop car and you know a retired one but um most of the time people just move out of the way like three miles down the road I i'm probably exaggerating but you guys know what i mean but they'll just like as soon as they see a car they're like, all right move over and I, I i always think that's funny it's just uh you know it's not messing around with people or anything it's just you know you're driving and people think you're a cop so they move out of the way 
can get some. It, it literally just happened, but I took the GoPro off to make sure it had battery, but like it was a green light and the lady that was on the opposite side, she was there first. So technically she has the right of way. She can go first, but she let me go. She flashed me to let me go. That's also another thing I wanted to tell you guys that happens very, very often is when you're at a, you know, a red light or something and someone has to turn or you got to go that way, but they were there first. They almost 90% of the time will let you go first. And it's just, it's so freaking awesome. It's funny. And like you get it, like I said again, guys, it's not like I'm intentionally doing it. Like, oh, you let me go. You know, it's just people that do it because they think you're a cop. Look at this guy. He's got his car slammed to the ground. He's trying to avoid potholes. What an idiot. Guys, okay, so I forgot what I was saying because I had to charge a GoPro for a little bit. This thing has horrible battery life. It does and it doesn't, but never mind. So yeah, let's talk about uh, some of the stories involved. Oh, look at these people. That sucks in the rain. Um, so, uh, one of the, mo one of the more awkward stories, um, that I've had is involving accidents. Uh, luckily it was nothing, you know, too serious, but, um, one time I was coming, I don't know if it was from home or something. I don't know. I was just going out and it was, uh, it was like January, December. So it was, you know, there's still snow on the ground and ice and I was coming off the highway and there was this giant accident that just happened. I think like a car slid into another car. It was like three or four cars, you know, the accident just happened. And of course I roll up at the scene like you know i'm a cop or something and people are looking at me they're like you know waving me over and stuff i'm like sorry guys i'm not a cop you know what i mean it was just it was so awkward i hated it and i tried to get out there as fast as possible you know obviously nobody was hurt you know there was a ton of other cars there there's other people helping if you know i was the first one there and you know i seen that no one else was there to help obviously i would go out and help but um you know there was a lot of people there it seemed like you know they were already getting help and stuff it seemed like police were already on their way so that's why i didn't know jump in i didn't want to act like a hero you know what i mean plus i didn't want to cut in the middle of the intersection and just be stupid like that um another one involving in well it wasn't really an accident it was a car breakdown but um i was with my cousin and uh we were on our way to the airsoft place which you guys saw and um there was like a car that was broken down on the side of the road and it was it was a pretty you know dense you know populated traffic area i guess you could say if that makes sense i, I don't even know if that makes sense but um and um, there was these two cars that were side by side, like on the road. And I was like way back. And I was like, oh, no, why is there traffic over here? There's never traffic, and it was weird. And, and then this lady in a car pulls up and she gives me a signal to roll down my window. So I rolled down my window. And she's like, hey, there's some people down there that need help. Like she obviously thought that I must've been a cop or some sort or something. She's like, yeah, go down there, they need help. And it, I was like, sorry lady, I can't, I can't do anything. I'm not a real cop. But obviously I didn't say that. I just kept driving and it just looked like they broke down or something. It wasn't like they actually got into an accident. Like I said, again, it was a heavily populated area. So, you know, obviously there were already people there helping, you know, there's no point in me stopping and acting like a hero if I didn't need to, you know, if, I, if they were already getting help and stuff, so. All right, now I'm gonna take a quick stop to McDonald's because I'm freaking hungry as hell. And then I uh, will continue the story, but for you guys it'll be like instantly right, guys so i just came out of mcdonald's and i was hearing uh this older couple like this group of you know a, a, a couple older people um they were talking they're like hey look at that uh white cop car over there where's the cop i don't see him inside but uh, <laughs> oh man I, w I wish i filmed a few guys but i don't like to you know film while i'm inside you know just for no reason because i don't expect you know anything like that to happen but i just thought i'd share that you know story with you guys real quick but i, I thought that was pretty funny and it was kind of awkward because I was sitting like right next to him like, hey, you know, who's Kaza, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh gosh, like, don't look at me, please. Just leave me, let me eat my burgers in peace. Uh, this happened to be a couple times where, um, you know, cars are pulling out into the street, like the main road, like I'm on now. And I've actually had once or twice cars that were like halfway in the middle, like I'd slow down to let them go. As I slow down to let them go, instead of them just going, they reverse back into the street let me pass then they'll come out I, it's crazy how much this car gives away an effect you know um and you know that that's that's just stupid too it's dangerous you know if you're doing that then you probably have something to hide if you reverse back out into the street because that's suspicious as hell but anyway yeah that's happened to me a couple times and then a bunch of times i've had people you know they're in the middle of the street then they'll just hit their brakes as soon as they see my car they'll let me pass and then they'll come out behind me. Like I, they, they will not like, I flash my lights for them to go and they're just like wave me like, no, you go first. And I've had that happen to me a bunch of times and it's just, it's freaking, it's, it's hilarious. But some of the times it's annoying too as well because it's like, oh, you're in the freaking middle of the road, just go already, you know? I'm like, seriously, what are you afraid of? Yeah, anyway, we're gonna talk about the more like paranoid uh, stories I've had, um, which involve the police. Now, like I said, again, nothing bad. I've never been pulled over ever. I've never been bothered ever. So for all you haters out there, wondering oh has he ever been pulled over have you, have you ever been you know this that no i've never been pulled over never been bothered nothing but anyway 
one day me and my friend were coming home from work and this is around like 11.30 at night and um, there was, um, it was kind of like this. It was kind of like a highway but it wasn't really a highway and there wasn't lights. It was kind of like a highway but it was like a dumbered down version of a highway. And um, we were going, we were coming home and me and my buddy were in the fast lane and um, all of a sudden this SUV comes flying up on my buddy and at first he's like you know why is this SUV up my ass like usually if it's a cop they'll like flick on their lights for you to go over to the slow lane and then they'll pass you but he didn't do that so it was, I was like okay it's probably a civilian so it came flying up on my buddy and my buddy just had enough of it so he went into the slow lane and this SUV came flying up behind me now so usually when you know a car or something SUV truck anything flies up behind me I can usually tell if it's a cop or not and this one came flying up behind me and I was like, okay, that's not a cop because I don't recognize those headlights. So I'm like, all right, why is this guy, you know, flying up behind me? All of a sudden, this guy started flying up behind me and I kid you not, guys, the second, the second he saw the ass end of my car, he backed off immediately. And I was like, haha. And then, and then, you know, we were driving for another two, three miles and he was like, wait, he was probably like a bustling behind me, you know? And then, uh, you know, he took a left and then he, you know, went home, whatever, uh, wherever he had to go. And then when I went home, my buddy later told me, he's like, hey, you know that, um, that SUV that was behind you? He's like, that was a cop. That wasn't a regular civilian. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, it had ghost decal. It was one of those new Tahoes. And that's why I didn't recognize it because it was a Tahoe. Usually, you know, all the departments around here still have Crown Vicks. Uh, they have Chargers, Tauruses. Uh, very rare Tauruses uh, and Explorers, obviously, but I've never seen a Tahoe cop, you know, he was on my ass and then I saw him pass by and I saw the graphics on the side bin and he's like, as soon as he saw your car, he backed off brakes, his brake lights came on and he just backed all the way up. So I thought it was just really, really, really funny. All right, moving along to the next story. Uh, it involves the same thing, um, same concept, but uh, same concept, but um, uh, this time I was by myself and I took a different route home. And um, I was coming home, and um, I I was you know just it was just like a kind of a, like back roads. Like as I was driving, I see this SUV, and like right as I was about to pass, he almost like hits me. Like not almost hits me, but like he came out a little bit too quick. So I had to hit the brakes a little bit, and then like veer off because he was out in the middle of the road. And then as I was passing him, I was like, oh yep, that's a cop. It was an expedition, an older style expedition. Um, and right when I passed him, he just like immediately like pulled up right behind me and in my head I'm thinking he's gonna pull me over for something even though he almost you know hit me um, I was like he's probably gonna pull me over for something I was like great I was like, I kid you not guys about two seconds he's behind me I don't know what he was doing he was pretty close to me and then he just backed up all the way he must have hit the brakes or something or he deaccelerated or something because he was on me and then all of a sudden he just backed way off like I'm talking like two three bus links and then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, that was weird. Like, he pulled up, you know, right behind me. And then all of a sudden, you know, I don't know if you noticed the car or whatever. And then he just backed up. And I, those are like the uh, the two times that I've had police behind me where I was actually like nervous. But like I said, again, guys, if you're not doing anything wrong, if your car is legal in your state and you know it's legal, you should be fine. They're not going to bother you for no reason. They have better things to do. So the third thing was actually really, really cool. This, has, this happened recently. And um, there was a... A cop, he was doing detail and he was just getting out of detail. So he hopped in his Crown Vic, Mark Crown Vic, which is pretty cool. Um, and he pulled up on the side of me like this. So me and him were just cruising. And this is a four lane road and there was lights everywhere. There's a bunch of construction and stuff going on. So he was on the side of me and he was on the side of me for a good amount of time. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't want to look because it's awkward, you know. But, um, you know, he, he, he didn't seem like, you know, a jerk or anything. He seemed really cool. And, um, you know, so we're just driving. The first set of lights, you know, he's still on the side of me. And then obviously he must have noticed my car or something. And then the second set of lights, he's still on the side of me. Um, and then we hear sirens and then it was an ambulance and there was a ton of traffic. So, and we were at a red light. So, and it was a giant intersection. There was cars passing and everything. So it was crazy. He turned on his lights and he kind of like, me and him kind of like veered off together to the side and we were veering off and he had his lights on and I was just kind of just following him. Like we were on, we were on the side. And then eventually me and him were in the middle of the freaking 
you know, the intersection, and it was still a red light. Cars were stopped. The ambulance finally passed by, and then me and him were just sitting there at the intersection. You know, we just sat there for a good, you know, three seconds, and then he was just like, okay, whatever. And then he just went right through the red light, and then I was like, well, I'm not going to sit here. And then I went, followed right behind him, and he didn't do anything. He didn't, like, pull me over. He didn't stop. He didn't wave me down or anything. I just thought it was real cool. I mean, there was really no other place I had to go. I was in the middle of the intersection. This guy's just going to take forever. side of them like that. So yeah, I thought that was really cool, cool little story. That's the coolest, you know, story I had like involving law enforcement or a cop or anything. And you know, it's not like it did anything bad, you know. It was just in the middle of the intersection and I didn't want to sit there in the middle of a red light, you know. He went and then I just followed right behind him and I, I just thought it was kind of badass, you know. Um, so yeah, that was, those were all my stories. You know, the more major stories I had in my Crown Vic, the cooler stories, the more paranoid stories. Let me know down below your stories that you guys had in your Crown Vic or your any police vehicle, any ex-cop car you guys have. If you guys have like an ex Impala or an Explorer or a Taurus, let me know some of the effects that you guys got. If you guys do that, uh, I'll pick some stories and then in my next video, I can share with everyone else your story. I'll pick some of the best ones or some of the ones that I found funny and I'll share it in the beginning of my next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the new angle. Um, I'm gonna try to do this more often if you guys like it. But yeah, like I said again, if you guys do own one of these cars, be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid. Obey the law and you guys should be good. All right guys, real quick, one more thing before I go. I wanna give a shout out to Broden5729 over on Instagram who uh, messaged me saying, you are an inspiration to me by the way. I'm probably getting a Crown Vic this summer. Um, thanks again for that, man. I uh, never really thought that my videos would be an inspiration to anyone. So big shout out to you, Broden. Thank you again very much. As you guys can see, it's still raining. It's been raining for the past three days in a row. I still only have one. I couldn't even get the other ones in because it's been raining and um, it's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, by the way, I know I said you need the antenna or else water will get in. Water actually doesn't get in. So you can leave it like that if you guys do end up buying that mount. But hopefully... It stops raining soon, but yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.